morning. Today is Tuesday, March 10th. I'm Amelia Elmore. And I'm Larkin Ivory. Thanks for watching Atherton on Air. Here's what's trending. Atherton is getting attention notice once again for our efforts in composting and recycling. We received a major award last week from the district. I'm here to present Atherton High School with another recycling award. We have two award-worthy situations. One is when they start recycling in the cafeteria because most recyclable material is generated in the cafeteria consistently. And the other award is for reducing the amount of tips on the waste dumpster and adding recycled tips. And the recycled tips cost about half as much as the waste tips to dispose. Because it points out to the school for others to see see how well they're doing with uh, sustainability, uh, recycling all paper, plastic, metal, and cardboard, and uh, also composting. Atherton High School's taking it an extra step further, which is awesome. Not wasting food, putting it in the landfill. Leftover food can be composted with compostable materials. If you are a Career Academy Ambassador, please check your email for some important information from Ms. Walker about an upcoming event. Good luck to all the juniors taking the ACT this morning. You should already be in your testing location. We'll see you back at school tomorrow. Special thanks to all, who, all those who set up the testing sites, especially Mr. Jones. Lots of spring sports are in action this week. Good luck today to the girls lacrosse team. The JV team plays at 5.30 and varsity plays at 7 o'clock at Christian Academy. And tomorrow, Atherton's tennis team takes on more at Highview Park at 3.30. And the boys lacrosse team plays Lexington Christian here at 7 p.m. On the club calendar, the new sign language club meets on Wednesday in room 217A right after school. Next National Honor Society meeting is Thursday. Service hours for seniors are due March 20th. Juniors are hours are due April 24th. And the Foam Warriors Club meets on this Thursday at 5.30 at Indoor Nerf Arena at Brackenlidge Lane. Eight students here at Atherton are working together to bring attention to the issue of gun violence. It's part of the Aspen Challenge competition. They've been meeting twice a week for several months to create their plan. Let's hear from Elliot Gross about the challenge. Aspen Challenge is an eight week challenge where groups of teens from across the city work with the community to solve pressing issues in the city. The challenge we chose to solve is creating a public health approach to solving gun violence. Uh, we created a website where people can submit multimedia submissions relating to their experiences or someone that they know experiences with gun violence. So, so we take submissions of any form like drawings, graphic design, songs, poems, personal anecdotes, anything. Uh, if you could get your submissions into us as soon as possible, the easiest way to get them into us is by our website. But if that's hard for you or for some reason that isn't working, you can always find me, Miss Slusher, or Miss Smushkowitz in the hallway and talk to us and we'll be happy to help. In just a few weeks, the students who are working on the Aspen Challenge will compete against other JCPS high schools. Best of luck! And we want to wish a very happy birthday to the following students. Avia Lee, Alexander Maloney, Kevin Berkeley, Will, Will Hager, Rizal Duncan, and to Atherton Counselor Miss Campbell. That's all the time we have today. I'm Amelia Elmore. And I'm Larkin Ivory. Thanks for watching. And remember, what you do makes, makes a, a difference. difference.